In 1908, crampons made a huge leap of progress. A guy named Eckenstein designed the modern crampon, which is not unlike many of the crampons we use today. Then, a few years after that, they began to make them out of nickel chrome molly steel. That's the same stuff they use today because it's especially tough in uh, cold weather. Nailed boots at that time. We saw the hobnails, the other one. Well, there's some hobnails there, but there's a very special nail here, first made in 1912. It's called the tricuni or tricuni, and it's made of several parts, part being very, very hard, so it didn't wear out, stayed sharp, and fit well in the ice. Part was softer. And the way it was attached from the top and the bottom made it so they were almost impossible to rip out. The big advance in rock climbing, which was happening in the limestone Alps in the east, a guy named Fiestel designed a piton with a forged eye in it. All the previous ones had had just a ring put in or no ring at all, or just been a hook. So that was a huge advance. This guy Herzog came up with the idea of using this big fire brigade carabiner, but adapting it to climbing. So now we have the carabiner. This is some equipment. Andrew Heckmeyer donated that. He used it on the first ascent of the north face of the Eiger in 1938. The other thing invented in the 30s was the Vibram Sol, named after Vitali Bramani. Together with Dolfer, who is very creative in his rope maneuvers and things like that, we have modern rock climbing, modern protection. 